A unique feature of mammals is that they are able to grow hair. Hair does a lot of important things for mammals that are crucial for their survival. Protection, temperature regulation, sweat regulation, and sensing. Mammals are usually covered in hair, but for humans, it's a bit different. Okay, maybe a lot different. We're not really covered in fur like other mammals. And for the top of our head and our face, we do have a lot of hair, and we like to style it. Some people may not even have any hair at all. In summary, I guess we could say human hair is super interesting. Today on Feed My Curiosity, we look at how human hair grows and the four stages that are a part of it. But before we dive into that, you can help us grow by hitting that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell to stay up to date with us too. The growth of hair is a cycle that consists of four stages, anagen, catagen, telogen, and exogen. Anagen is the growth stage. All hair starts off as follicles below our skin. Blood vessels feed the roots, which allows the hair to grow. Up to 90% of follicles in this stage can last anywhere between two to seven years. And the duration of the anagen stage influences how long the hair will be. That means scalp hair usually spends a lot of time in the anagen stage compared to eyebrows. The next stage is the catagen stage, also known as the transition stage. It only lasts up to three weeks, and in this stage, the hair detaches from the blood supply. The telogen stage, also known as the resting phase, follows the catagen stage. For three months, hair in this stage pretty much chills on the spot while new hair underneath it begins to grow, starting in the anagen stage. The last stage is the exogen stage or the stage where hair starts to shed. All of our hair that's chilling from the telogen stage falls out in this stage, and up to 100 hairs can shed per day. Then the hair follicle goes back to the anagen stage, so the cycle begins again. There's definitely more to the growth of hair than just the stages, as there's multiple factors that can affect it too. Our diet, our genes, our medication, and stress. And even if we've learned that we can lose up to 100 hairs a day, Losing an excessive amount can indicate an underlying illness, so make sure you check up with your doctor if this sort of thing is happening to you. For some of us, our hair, especially the hair that grows on our scalp and our facial hair, is a huge part of our image. Understanding how our hair grows will help us understand how we can groom it better, style it better, and keep it healthy. The best way to achieve that is to choose a shampoo and comb or brush that doesn't irritate your scalp, eat healthy, and stay hydrated. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to Feed My Curiosity for more curiosity satisfying content. Thank you for watching.